15 15 on the clock whoa okay welcome back to the channel uh, uh got a bright ass light in my face <laughs> anyway so i'm making this video because uh i just manifested something i thought it was really cool i wanted to talk about it i hopefully you'll believe me um this is the best i can do you know it's, if i walked around all day with a gopro i guarantee you it would happen I'm going to have to pull this phone out of my face in a second because it's blinding the shit out of me. But anyway, I was walking just here, just now, uh, 10 minutes ago, on this exact path when this happened, right? So I'm walking on this sidewalk. Can't point at the traffic because there's cars coming. I'm walking on the sidewalk. Hang on, let me run up ahead. Ugh, get there faster. I park at Walmart, right? Here's Walmart. Uh, there's a the Walmart sign. You're like, what sign? Okay, hang on. <laughs> Give me a second. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm walking, right? I'm walking on this sidewalk. And right when I'm crossing this spot right here, a car pulls up. Right there. About to go this way. And he stops. He says something. I pull out my earbuds, and he hands me a Red Bull. So a guy right here pulls up right here. So there's a car coming. I don't want to put the lights in his face. Apologize. And, uh... <clears throat> Anyway, so this guy hands me this Red Bull, right? And he hands it to me. It's, it's the only flavor I've never had. I'm quitting caffeine, right? 24 hours ago, I said, I'm fucking done. How many times when you make a decision, like I say, I'm done drinking this shit, right? Like that's what I said. I'm done drinking this shit. What popped up? A bent can. Free. It's all yours, kid. Go ahead. Take a sip. <laughs> hey, just try it. Come on. It's a little heroin. It's not that bad for you. <laughs> That's not, but, but I'm going to put away all the negatives. I'm just going to try to talk about it in a positive way. I could sit here and talk about spiritual attacks and stuff like that. We're not going to get into that. We're just going to keep it simple. How do I feel? Well, like I said, this is actually pretty cool. I'll show you why this is so fucking cool in a second. But just remember, I found this guy pulled up right here. And he handed me this can. He had seven other flavors in his car. Every one of them I've had. He hands me the only one I've never had. Pear cinnamon. I've never had it. I have ever. I've had every Red Bull. Never had this one. So he hands me this fucking can of Red Bull, and I notice obviously like yeah it's bent, and and ends up the dude's actually really codependent. And there was a whole bunch of, I need to find friends to hang out with. I can't create happiness on my own, so I need to find other people that have it. But he doesn't realize that's what he's telling me. It's just when you're actually paying attention, you'll everybody tells you what's going on. I remember this one time I met this meth head, and I asked him directly. I said, why are you here? And he's like, to find, re he said, resources. I basically commanded him. I said, hey, what's your purpose? And like a robot, he was like, resources, resources, a.k.a. use people. Anyway, so let's just get to it. Ready? I, I was handed this Red Bull right there. There just so happens to be two Red Bulls right here. There's two Red Bulls. <laughs> I have in my hand a can two bulls facing each other, and outside is two Red Bulls facing away from each other. I'm going to end up setting this can right here. That's where it's going to end up. 333. Three, three. I'll do it now, I guess. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Little tail. Anyway, I'm going to set this can right here. Pear cinnamon. <laughs> There's the Taurus Curios 2007. By the way, Christopher Weed, that's funny. I have a story about a, a cop calling me Christopher. I live in a 2007 minivan, and uh, we were just talking to that guy about weed. That was our conversation. So a guy hands me a Red Bull right there that's actually red like the can's literally red it's the only flavor i've never had i walk less than 100 feet to two red bulls the guy who was wearing a hat had a hat with a wolf facing one way and a wolf facing the other on his hat there was literally just like this a wolf and a wolf and like a cool little like plant symbol thing in the middle ironically there's a tree now that i'm looking at it ah, so <laughs> when you're paying attention you'll see it Everything from a person's tattoos to what they're writing to what they're fucking even talking about to what car they own. I mean, I'm literally a fucking Taurus. I have a stellium in Taurus. So I'm literally a person who, in astrology, the pattern is I have a sun in Taurus, a Mercury in Taurus, a Venus in Taurus. I manifested two bulls on a can, two bulls outside of me, and I'm at 444, and I myself energetically am bull energy. Anyway... <clears throat> Ain't that cool? Like, is, think about it. And I even really have a story about me being called Christopher by a cop the last time I saw my mom. 
The last time I saw my mom, the cop who was like, holy shit, I can tell, you're like Christ-like, and this dude's, and this chick's fucking evil. She, he, for some reason, called me Christopher. It was kind of like a Jesus in the room energy moment. I'm not trying to get the Jesus freaks on my fucking channel. A lot of you guys are, got problems. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> I love you guys, but I, it's still. And I, and I, and I got, I'm not, I'm not bringing up Jesus, sorry. <laughs> not today, it's too big of a topic. But do you see it? Now you can decide not to believe me. That's fair. I don't care. I got enough videos of this shit at this point. It doesn't matter. But isn't that cool? And instead of drinking that can, and I say I made this video because my the old me would have been like free bag of meth. Well, hell yeah. <laughs> but I'm really at the point where I, I can't even handle a fucking ca cup of soda or caffeine anymore. Like I hate that shit. And so when he handed me that bent crooked can and the guy revealed that he was kind of a low vibrational dude who was codependent had all these habits and traits that were kind of a negative five 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 that's when i knew to walk away one last look because <laughs> it's so fucking cool i appreciate you and that's why i throw love at things i throw love at things you walk up you used to play the little boy i love you so much <laughs> you cute little fucker <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm being awkward. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, but isn't that cool? Come on. Come on! Isn't that fucking awesome? I got a can. I even explained it to the guy, and he was like, yeah. Just can't cop. It. He can't get it. He just doesn't get it. Not able. And like he. And it's interesting because he was there. <laughs> and also, on another side note, his name was Alejandro, but his real name when he was growing up was Alex. And I'm like, oh, so a guy named Alex. Hands me a can of something I really don't want to drink, like drugs, and that I'm trying to quit. It's like this is kind of reminding me of that time that guy named Alex tried to stab me to death, or my older brother who's that name's Alex was being a fucking douchebag, and I was like, I'm done talking to you for the rest of my life. Or that other time I worked at Taco Bell, and there's that other Alex who again was like threatening. To, well, I'm not even gonna get into it. Every time I meet a guy named Alex, it doesn't doesn't mean that. But personally, it's like an indicator that this is somebody sent to me that's kind of like a negative or a karmic. I gotta get that light out of my face. I love you guys. Like, subscribe. That was seven minutes. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs>